In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to create a trendy looking logo animation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now let's get started. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it Render, as always. Click OK. Drag your logo to the timeline. Right click. Pre compose. Let's name this logo. Make sure Movable Attributes is selected and click OK. Then right click the logo. Go to Effect. Generate. Fill. Set the color to white so we can see the logo. Hit S for scale, decrease the scale to your liking. I'll set it to 50%. And select the logo, go to layer, auto trace, copy my settings here, click OK. Press M on your keyboard, select the keyframes and delete them. Then right click the logo, go to effect, generate. This time grab stroke. Here, check all masks, uncheck stroke sequentially. Set brush hardness to 100%. For the paint style, set it to reveal original image. Create a keyframe for start, set it to 100%, go to 2 seconds, and set start to 0%. And go to the beginning of your timeline once again, set brush size to 0 and create a keyframe on it. Go 5 frames forward, and adjust the brush size, I'll set it to 30. Then press U to reveal the keyframe, select them all and press F9 to ease ease the keyframes. And select the start keyframes, go to the graph editor, select this point here and drag the handle all the way to the left. And exit the graph editor, press preview, it's pretty smooth. Now select the logo, press ctrl D twice to duplicate the layers. And let's offset each layer by 3 frames, so move 3 frames forward and offset the both. Then go 3 frames forward and offset the top layer by 3 frames. Create this kind of key, uh, staircase. Then select the bottom logo, go to fill and set it to a different color. You're free to choose whatever color you like. I'll choose a uh, grayish blue color. Then select the second layer. I'll also ch change its color. I'll set it to desaturated red. And the top logo layer can be white, that's perfectly fine. Now select the top logo layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select stroke and press delete. We don't need stroke in this layer. Go to effects and presets window. Search for radial wipe. Add this to the top logo layer. Set wipe to counterclockwise. And set wipe center to this point right here. Now play around with the transition completion and also change the fill color. I'll set it to a gray color. Keep playing with the transition completion until the logo is not covered. To 24% in my case. And create a keyframe on that. And then move a couple frames forward. So I'll move three frames forward and bring down the transition completion until the logo is completely covered. Then press U to reveal the keyframes. Select both. Press F9 to ease ease them. Go to 2 seconds and align the first keyframe with 2 seconds mark. Let's duplicate the top logo layer. Set the fill color to white. And let's offset the top logo layer by a couple of frames. The 3 frames in my case. Let's do a quick preview. Awesome. Now we have a cool color variation in our logo. Select the type tool. And type whatever you like. I'll type think different. So that's the Apple slogan. Select the text, align it horizontally, and well, adjust the size pretty much so you don't have to follow my exact steps. Then select the selection tool here and place the text to wherever you want it to be. Then press P for position, make sure the text is selected. Hold Shift and press T to bring up opacity. Create keyframes for position and opacity. Select those keyframes and move them forward in time. Then play around with the position. So bring the text down a bit and bring opacity to 0%. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's do a quick preview. Looks good. Right click on an empty space. Select new null object. Now select every other layer. And drag the pick whip and drop it to into the null one object. So this will pair the, every other layer to the null object. Hit S for scale. Increase the scale to 130 and create a keyframe for that and then move 5 frames forward and set scale to either 100 or 90 percent then select the keyframes and press F9 head over to the graph editor zoom in nicely select the this point here and drag it to the left all the way and the other one also all the way to the left let's uh, preview All right, looks awesome. Let's turn our motion blur for the text layer by pressing here. 
Let's give our scene a background. Right click, new solid. Let's name it background BG. And choose any color you like. I'll choose like a really desaturated red. Click OK. And bring this under every other layer. Now select every layer except the background. Right click, pre-compose. Let's call this animation. Make sure removal attributes is selected and click OK. Then duplicate the animation layer. And for the bottom animation layer, right click on it, go to effect, generate, fill. Set the color to black. Then head over to the effects and presets tab and search for CC radial fast blur. Apply this to the bottom animation layer, like that. Set center to the corner. Increase the amount to well, 95. You can play around with it on your own. So I'll keep adjusting it until I get the look I like. So 95 looks okay. Let's preview. Let's increase it by a touch. So 97. Okay, you can do this on your own. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, sub to the channel would be awesome. And see you in the next video.